Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over the LCK slate, uh, which starts again at 4 a.m., but we're going to do this recording early, but it's going to be published just after lock. Uh, the good news is I don't think that there's a lot of sub-risk today. Um, the one place that you could see it is maybe, I guess, in the Don Juan Kia game where maybe, I don't know, the uh, they don't play that same support they've been playing, which is who? It is, um, no, I forget his name already, uh, Moham. But uh, aside from that, uh, I don't really see too much sub risk. Uh, I, it's it's not quite a uh, a meaningless game for both teams. Um, I mean, for Fred Brian, every game is every game is seemingly uh, meaningless. But uh, I Don Juan Kia still could use a win, uh, so they're probably going to roll their guys out there. Um, and I do think that Fred Brian is going to you know just throw caution to the wind here. Um, I mean, they have nothing to lose really. And they're a huge underdog. So uh, anything can happen over there. But as uh, has been the case with these LCK slates, you have two pretty big favorites. So we're going to have to be very, you know, very uh, original <laughs> to, to get different, to play the GPP, specifically the shock blast. We'll be able to come up with something decent in the triumphant warrior, but uh, shock blast we're gonna have to try to be probably a little bit funky um because I, I imagine that pricing is going to let you get to whatever you want here uh as opposed to yesterday where it was kind of a tricky slate to get to the two big favorites here probably could get to most mostly whatever you want unless maybe you can't put aiming in the captain all so easily we'll experiment with that a little bit um but aside from that, um, you, I don't know, maybe you can't get everything you want, but it's not too difficult to get a whole bunch of four threes with um, Hanwha Life and Don Juan Kia, which means that we should probably try to do something else because those are, again, going to be just really, really highly duped. And um, uh, that's just not the way you play LOL DFS. So when we run these things, and I already ran these in the background, is not surprisingly, you're going to get a whole bunch of these combinations. So the top 35, literally 100% DK, Hanwha Life. And when it comes to the four-man stacks, it would be, well, it's spread out okay between 65% Hanwha Life and 35% Don Juan Kia. And when it came to who would be in the captain, who's the highest owned for before doing any funny business, um, it's actually Peanut and Lucid, um, both junglers, which which leads me to, to to believe that it's hard to get these eighty carries in the captain. So, like for example. Only 3% of the lineups were getting Aiming or Viper in the captain. And let's just see what those looked like. Like, see, the Aiming one is not even a 4-3. You know, you can't even get there. And then in the Viper one, likewise, let's see, you can't even get a 4-3. So you can't even really play Viper or aiming in the captain which makes which makes this an interesting slate and here here is here is the seminal question how important is it to play viper or aiming in the captain because if it is then you you you'll want to play them in the captain and then live with the fact that you'll be playing very very non-correlated lineups with four these four twos or if it's not as important to get those particular guys in the captain then you could play the four threes with say Peanut and the other jungler like Lucid in the uh in the uh in the captain. And the way things build, the the optimizers are going to be recommending, you know, Peanut and Lucid in the captain. Um, so if that's the case, these are probably the lineups that are going to be really, really popular. And you're going to try to probably fade them if you can. Um so when I ran 35 lineups, I was getting 33 four threes, okay? 
And only and the I always showed you the two lineups that are not four threes, and those are the ones with aiming and or or Viper and the captain. Now, if we if we force those guys in the captain, I can tell you right now what's going to end up happening. You know, you, you'll you'll either get four twos or you'll get zero with with Hama Life and DK together. Um. So let's see what we can do once we start screwing around. So we, we first built, you know, what do we build? How many? Um, a thousand lineups. So we, we should be able to pick something from there. Um, if we just started by going min uniques, like min uniques two, or maybe even min uniques three or something like that. Let's see if how that changes things. Well, first of all, it gives us more four twos, like 21 four twos. Um, it still gives us jamming in Hanwha Life and DK, but it just makes it more four twos. It's very difficult to find four threes um without you know without either of these two teams. Which means one of two things. Number one, that they're just like that bad. Or number two, we should probably try to play them anyway. Um, because they're gonna be excruciatingly low owned. Um, anything like if you played Fox or Fred at Breon, they're both going to be pretty low owned. So maybe we're just supposed to force those in. Um, but the so let's let's with that said, let let's let's run the Sims and see what we get here. Um, for the Shock Blast again, we're just going to run it against this set of lineups that we've already created, just to see if there's anything that we could get which is sort of different just by running the Sims. And if we can't, then we're going to have to do something like geo mean filtering, which is kind of annoying, but we're going to have to. Um, so after we run the Sims, we sort by risk adjusted ROI and it really doesn't do anything for us. Right? We're still getting hundred percent DK, 94% Hama life. And even if we go min uniques two or even min uniques three, even, I mean, then we get a little bit different, and now we get at least some lineups with Fox and and Fred Aprion. But again, we're still going to be left with those whole glut of lineups that have fifty dupes, which I just don't want. So, I think we have to go back to our old friend, you know, and go back to doing some geo mean filtering, and just forcing in kind of the lower owned, um, the lower owned four threes. And we'll play some four twos or some, you know, some non-traditional stacks with them. Um, so as you see, if we go to min uniques three, we are going to get 10 lineups with uh, with four two. And just to kind of see what those look like, um, they're mostly just put something different in the captain. Like they, they're all kind of putting the underdog in the captain. Um, but the exception is something like this. This one like puts like clear as a one off. That that could be kind of interesting. Um, this one again puts closer as the one off. I think that could be somewhat interesting. I don't want to put like the underdog cap, the underdog team as the as the uh, as the one off. Let's go to Minion Unique's one. Get some more ideas for how to play. More four twos here. Um, it's only giving me one. Yeah, so let's go back to min uniques three, and and let's at least take the four twos that have the one off that's not the team player. So let's get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. Get rid of this one, and this one will this one will get rid rid of two. And this one we'll keep. This is one with, uh, say, Envy as a one-off, which is a, a really, really, you know, very low-owned proposition, to say the least. So we'll keep that one. Then we have this one, which is, again, Fox is the one-off there. Bro, one-off there. This one has Morgan as your one off, which is going to be pretty low owned. So let's hold on to that one. 
And then this one is Raptor as a one-off, which is going to be very low on. So we'll keep that one. This one has Mo. No, this one has Team as a one-off. We'll get rid of that. And then um, this one with, again, team. I don't want the one-off to be in the team position. One-off one off clear is good. That one's not bad. One-off duro. That would be pretty sick if we could actually get that home. So we're we're gonna we'll try that one too. And then um one off closer, we like that one. We like it in that we think it's possible. You know, we, we don't we don't want to play the one off here, one off with fate from Breon. That's not bad. And these are just again, just pretty like pretty awful, but better than nothing and here we have fox is a one-off we'll get rid of that one so it looks as though these eight lineups are going to be our kind of our, our not very non-traditional four twos that we're going to use so let's put this you know we're going to put this let's put these in the favorites oh, no we don't want those in the favorites let's get rid of that let's just Let's just down because what it did is it took all 35 and put them in there. So let's download these eight and keep them over here. Let's just make sure it only did eight. It did. All right, so then we're going to go back to the four threes and pick 27 of just the, the 27 four threes that have a chance to not be completely duped. Okay. So what we're going to have to do. Let's first of all, we're gonna go team stacks. Sorry, we're gonna go stack exposures, minimum a hundred percent. So we are gonna only take four threes. And the first thing we have to do is we'll we'll take whatever we can from here that does not have both Hanwa Life and Donwa Kia. So let's see what we have here. Um, team stacks. All right. So this one's not bad. So this is a this is a decent combination of them. So let's take the Don Juan Kia with Fox. We'll take those. How many of those do we have? Don Juan Kia and Fox. They have 10 of those. That's pretty good. So we'll save that. And how many is that? That's 10. Okay. So now I'm saving on the other page. That's like eight. So now we have 18 total. And then we'll save the um Hanwa. Oops. The Hanwa life with Fred at Breon's. And that's 10 as well. So we'll save these. I'm just copying and pasting on the other side. So now we have 28 lineups total, so we can afford seven more. So I think that we should just do is just do some uh, geo mean filtering from this whole pile of a thousand. Um, go back to min uniques one and let's remind ourselves of what we need here. So contest size 1176. Um, I will pull, I don't know why I don't have these memorized yet. I want to say 2029 20, is going to be the geo mean that we need to put into the filter there. Let's see, um, 1176, yeah, with one dupe, yeah, 30.7. But again, we want to get, be a little greedier. No, actually, 30.7 is fine. So let's filter 30.7. 
less than third. Well, yeah, thirty point seven. Um, and so these are going to be the lineups that we pick from, and to to at least, and we could get some DK, Hanwa from here, but at least that we've done some attempt to reduce the amount of unique uh, lineups here. Uh, to reduce the amount of dupes. So let's um let's take the top. How many do we have? Six left. So let's do six. And then we will just download them. And again, I'm just doing that on the other monitor. Okay. Uh, ooh, I'm missing. We'll do one more. I'm missing one. So we'll add another one. I don't think I have any dupes, but if I do, I'll 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 be able to tell in a second. So what we'll do is we'll copy here, and now we'll go. You'll you'll see me do this. We'll go into the the lineups and we will put those in here save and then we'll upload those to DK then we'll see if we have any dupes um, let's just take a look Uh, no, actually, actually this one. So we have two of these. So we'll just kind of hand hand do one of these. So this one has, this is a four three with Fox. Oh God, look at that four man Fox. Um, so how can we make one change here? Well, we could put. Well, we could do whatever we want, right? So let let's. No, we've got enough lucid. Let let's let's go with King in, I guess. Over here. And we'll we'll make this one. We'll unduplify that one. Um so now what I want to do is to, to show you guys exactly what we have, and then we'll do the triumphant warrior. Let's um upload these lineups from DraftKings so I can actually see the exposures. You could see them on DraftKings as well, but I'd like to start using SaberSim for this as well. Okay, so these are the lineups. And if you look under Shock Blast, um, these are the lineups we entered, and here are our exposures. So it's, as far as team stacks go, it's mostly DK and Hama Life, but they're all going to be paired pretty much with Fox and Frederick Rion. Uh, with some very very rare exceptions, so whatever happens in the first, in the, whatever happens in the first match or first game, whatever first series, we'll have action. You know, if Fox win, if if Hama Life wins, we'll be have to root for 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 Bro, and if Fox wins, we're probably going to be able to root for for DK. And in addition to that, we will have some HLE DKs, but they're going to be kind of the the weird four two of four two variety. And we'll update that after, hopefully after, I don't know if I'm going to be awake, but if I am, I'll update it after the first match. Now, when it comes to the Triumphant Warrior, it's it's a little bit easier. I, I'm probably going to play something like my best sim lineup there. So let's just go back, Triumphant Warrior. And so here are my choices. Um Peanut and the captain is pretty much in all of them. The exception of this one, this one has got Lucid in the captain. And again, all this has become is kind of a test to see if you can avoid the one that's being duped the most. So which which one looks like it's going to get duped the most? Well, well, here, first of all, do, who do we want to have our four-man? Because the first lineup has a four-man for HLE and the second one 
has for HLE. Third one is actually a four man with DK, but still has Peanut and the Captain. So all these with Peanuts and the Peanut and the Captain is a little bit. Um, So I think what it's, it was a little weird. So I think what I probably want to do if, if there's a if I had a lineup here of my top whatever that did not have peanut in it at all, that's probably what I would want to do here um, in the triumphal word. But I don't. Um, at the very least, I should probably play the one that does not have him the captain. But where is that? I mean, let's look at let's look at the way these guys are rated. By sim ROI, you have 28 for um, as far as just regular projections. Well, this one's duped one. I mean, I could just put in the, our top rated lineup and just dare everybody to not dupe me, I guess. But they'll probably oblige and they'll all dupe me as usual. I don't know. I think that 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 we want, I think that the four man DK is the one that's going to make the most sense. But we don't really get to them at all in these first bunch of lineups. Um, let's let me run the sim one more time just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And then I'll probably just go ahead and just put our top lineup in. Let's scroll out of this and scroll back into it. Just trying to get some something a little different. I mean, this this one's probably a little different, right? This one has the four man DK. It does keep Peanut and the captain. Um, but it does have the DK four man. All right, let's try that one. Oh, but that's got five K. That's got 5K. Um, this one has to fade Viper, which is kind of tough to do. Let's look at some of the some of the metrics here. So again, this is the, trying to filter this out, fade this out. As far as raw projected score, they're very close. Like this first one's got 586.3 this one down here has got 586.9 and what's the difference they're all so close and then with respect to i guess geo mean which is the lowest one of those 34.59 i guess that's the lowest geo mean of all of them except for this one um, I guess since Hama Life is the biggest favorite, no, actually, I guess since Don Juan Key is the biggest favorite, we want to pick the one with them in the cat with with their team and the captain because they're the ones that because that's the thing you know is going to score if the sweep happens. You're not exactly sure that the players are going to score, so something with Don Juan Kia and the captain in 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 the sorry in the team position makes sense. And it seems like this one does not, so we can get rid of that one. So it's one of these top three again. These are kind of what this is what, what I'm going through here. Probably should have Viper, right? Each time I think about it, I think I want to go back to the one with the four man DK. It's a little bit different. So let's 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 do that one. So Peanut and the Captain with Zika and Delight, and then the four man DK, just like that. I think I think that's the idea. Okay. Um, they, they have not all been filled because they were in already. Okay. So let's um replace the traffic warrior with that one. And we should be good to go. So again, two different contests. You know, we're we're playing the lowest possible owned of the very obvious plays, which is what we're doing in the Triumphant Warrior. And then in the Shock Blast, we're playing a bunch of four twos and a bunch of four threes without.
the two big favorites together and hope hope we kind of get lucky. And uh, that'll do it. Uh, I hope to update you guys midway through, but it depends when I get up.